Hey, yo there. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, yo guys, Pandy351 here, and I've got Tails with me, and we're playing House Flipper. Yo. And, uh, yeah, I just started the game, and... Oh, uh, Tails, you missed out. I got a lawnmower now. Look at my lawn. Oh, my goodness. It's so... It's so nice. Sure. <laughs> it's so nice. I haven't got the pets yet. I'm making me sad. I want pets. But no, I can't <coughs> have them yet. Because I have to start the pet DLC. But I don't know how to start the pet. Well, I know how to start it. There'll be one of these things that'll come up with a little pet icon. And that's how I know that I can start the DLC. However, I don't know what will trigger the ability to get that specific email so basically uh, I don't know what uh, how to get it uh, so we're just going with it anyways we can go play um, house in need of renovation hi there after the death of my beloved wife I sold our house as it brings back so many memories that I cannot cope with I have decided to buy a new house and it requires some work it needs cleaning new radiators and it is too much work for me, and I don't have the strength. I would like to move out of my old house as soon as possible, as it's too painful to live here. My two daughters will be living with me, and would like their rooms to be painted their favorite color, bright blue. Please try to arrange everything quickly. Jack Robbins. Okay. A good chunk of that email was like... My, my wife is dead, and I'm sad. You don't, You didn't need to inform me your wife is dead, sir. Or that was not information that was necessary for me to have. All right, what, what do I need to get to get... Do I have all the gardening? Yeah, I have all the gardening stuff. Fuck the garden, then. I'll get extra money for it, so... Because I don't think I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. And now I have my setup a bit altered for this game. I gotta scooch things just a tiny bit. Because the way that the mouse is, I need a bunch of room. And so I made room for my mouse. So that I can make big strokes on the desk. Not have to worry about dealing with nonsense. Ooh. Look at me go. Ooh. Beautiful. Put a radiator right there. Ah, yes. Look at this. You see those tails? Oh. This is a good job. What you call that? A good heckin' job. Probably a medium should be fine for this room. Not very big. No. Just gotta mount this device and the bathroom is done. This one's a relatively simple house. Look at that. Bathroom's all done. Mm. 
Look at this. Meow. 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 Okay, these windows are much bigger than my desk is capable of Damn. having room for it, so it's fine. It's fine. It still works out. This room is a bit bigger, but there is a second paint for the room. Yeah, look at that. Let's look at working it. This has no work. That that does not need any doors. Uh, real quick. Gonna just... That room's done. Ew. Just, you know. So, so, Tails, you are yes. the British. Uh, yes, and I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, last night, I, or I should say yesterday, it wasn't last night, but yesterday, I went to a pantomime, mm. or I volunteered at a theater. Uh, I got to see a pantomime, uh, Maddie's in it, and, mm. oh boy, <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of pantomimes. The theater that we have nearby does it every Christmas. They do a Christmas pantomime. Um, um, it's been a while since I've had Christmas pantomimes. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like... The the theater does one... Uh, one of the weekends, they do a sensory-friendly one. Mm -hmm. Where they, they don't use any of the super loud sound effects. And the lights are, like, yeah. dimmed. And the house lights are still on. And they don't really go into the audience too much for kids who are, uh, you know, have sensory yeah. issues. This is really cool. It's really super cool. Uh, and like, um, the, th the theater is really nice. And so it was really fun. But I, I shit you not, I this theater does a lot of pantomimes. I've seen a lot of the pantomimes. And they're all really good. So, with the green assault, because it wasn't that terrible. However, it's probably the worst pantomime I've ever seen them do. Oh. Which was real sad. Like, it was really good, but also, like, <laughs> it's definitely not their best. Um, but I, I had a blast going to it. Mm. Um, I usually volunteer at concessions. Uh, which is, you know, where you get the foods during intermission and stuff. Uh, next year, I'm going to be able to get my license so that I can uh, do the bartending. Because they usually have Ooh. alcohol at the shows. Ooh. Yeah. I'm old enough to bartend now. It's crazy. But I don't like at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that I'm getting old. I don't know about this. But, no, it, it was, um, yeah, apparently the show that I went to was the only one where, because they did Cinderella, so there was two dames. Yeah. Um, and for the people listening at home, if you don't know what the dame is, a dame is, uh, very similar to drag. Well, it is drag, the form of drag, but it's usually a guy who's dressed up very obviously to be quote unquote an ugly female I use that in quotes because that's usually the roles that those characters play but they were playing the, the stepsisters so you know and apparently it's the only show that one of the stepsisters didn't lose their skirt because apparently that was a problem. Is one of them kept losing their skirt. And I'm like, oh. We were like, I was like chatting afterwards. And they were like, yeah, that's like the only 
one so far where they haven't lost their skirt. I was like, oh no. Uh, oh no. But no, it was it was really funny. It was great. Because it's, you know, it's meant for kids, but there's also, you know, those subtle adult jokes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, at some point in time, they were talking about... Because, you know, it's Cinderella. There's the ball, right? So you've got, like, an entire running joke where one of the characters is just like, mm, yes, you know, the pr the prince has the best of balls. I am an immature <laughs> adult. <laughs> I mean, it's the intention of the joke, but <laughs> uh, but no. the The one thing I felt real bad for is they had, um, you know, theaters have the the backgrounds that can drop down and stuff, and they have the yeah. orchestra on stage, uh, which I think is really cool. It's like in a corner. And they have um, a set piece that they can move um, depending on what scene they're in, in front of them. So when they're in, like, the town scene, they they actually have, like, a, like, it's like a music store, basically. It's set up with a little sign even over there for them. It's it's adorable. It's great. But during yeah. the forest scene, one of the, uh, one of the backdrops fell on the band. <laughs> and so... While they're continuing on the stage, like, nothing's happening because that's what you have to do. Everyone's, like, panic. In the in the band, because they're trying to, like, get everything, like, fixed. Back in place. And all that. It's great. It's also hilarious just how many, like, accents I got to hear last night. Hmm. <laughs> not all of them were Washingtonian. Some of them were very British. I mean, like, to the point of where uh, one guy came up to... Because I, I do concessions. So, you know, stuff like water. So, can you give me a second? I've got a quick phone call take. Oh, go take that phone call. That's probably important. Maybe. I don't know. Could be. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing this good solid minute for me to remember what I was doing. But yeah, no, to to continue on my story. Um basically we have a lot of people um that were at the concession stands and stuff. And I, I, I you know water, that's that's like a joke that like, oh, Brits say bottle of water differently than we do. And I'm not even kidding, that is like the thickest I've ever heard somebody say bottle of water in a British accent. Which is frightening, because I have friends that are British, and you would think that they would have had the thickest accent, not somebody who's in Washington. But here we are. I, I had to contain myself from laughing. I, I'm going to be honest, I, was, I found it absolutely hilarious. But no, pantomimes are fun. Definitely, if you ever get the chance to go to one, do. They're, they're a blast. Especially the comedic characters, the, the comedic relief, um, the comedic relief at the Panto um, this year, um, or at least the one here is um, is a professional clown. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I got to talk with her a bit, and that was fun. That's not the same blue. Yeah, I'm back. I was just sorting stuff out for the university. Nice, nice.
Don't mind me. I was I was just making fun of your accent. Don't worry about it. Wow, SMH. Uh, we had somebody show up uh, that had like a thick British accent, <laughs> and and I say that because as concessions, I deal with stuff like you know water bottles. And that is probably the thickest I have ever heard somebody say "bottle of water" in a British accent. It was hilarious. A bottle of water. <laughs> Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was something that, like, I was like, that, that accent seems off. I don't know why. I don't know what what's making me get this feeling that, like, there's an accent there. And then they asked for a bottle of water, and I just fucking died. Inside, I was like, mm, suddenly I recognize the sex. <laughs> suddenly I get the feeling I know this one. <coughs> hmm. Strange. Wonder, wonder what could have given me that idea. I had to be so careful because there was like so many people with like somewhat British accents. For some, I mean, I, I guess it's a panto. But, like, it's just... Like, people from out of town and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, like... Ooh. Ooh, Violet. Violet is a thing that happens sometimes when I don't pay attention. You know? You know, just the mock British, that kind of happens. And so it was just like, suddenly it's like I'm hearing British accents and I'm like, I gotta be real careful right now. Things could go real bad. I do not want to accidentally end up with a British accent while trying to do this shit. Because that would be terrible. Terrible, terrible. Because as we all know, Violet is a disgrace when it comes to British accents. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, our comedic relief for the panto. Um, she is a professional clown. She was really nice. I got to meet her. She was super, super sweet. She's an absolute oh. doll. Which, like, you kind of have to be to play that specific role. The, like the, the like super comedic relief. Yeah. You really have to be like have a certain level of, like, friendliness with kids. So it was really cool. And I was mentioning a certain a project I've been working on that I can't say anything more than that that has required me to do a boatload of research about clowns for no particular oh. reason that I can't I mention. I think I know it's when you're talking about you as well have, because you keep yeah, showing yeah. up. Yeah. Because I'm proud of it. But anyways, I've done so much research and mostly of like older, older stuff, uh, not necessarily anything new because I, I don't really know what to look for. And yeah. she was like, oh, yeah, you just, you know, this is the school I performed at. This would be a good place to start. I was like, oh, that's really cool. She was really nice. I was like, oh, and then Maddie fucking... Maddie over here is like, hey, uh, sibling here has a YouTube channel. And her immediate response was just, you better give me, you better give me the info on that later. And I'm like, oh God. Not the yeah, cringy FNAF content. Yeah, your YouTube channel in like immediately. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Not the cringy FNAF content, please. <laughs> I'm embarrassed about this around other adults. Most adults don't really know how to react to somebody being like, yes, I make FNAF videos on the interwebs. I hate my emails. What just happened to the email I just had? Oh. What just happened? 
I was replying back to an email and then the whole thing just disappeared and I'm packing on where it went. Uh-oh, that's not good. Just take a deep breath. You're good. Everything shall be fine. Look at all this. Ah. Looks so nice. Well, this doesn't look so nice. That looks all right. Uh, interesting talk from the um, people, um, one of my friends last night with um, characters. Oh. Um, he brought he brought up um how I played certain. Maybe he preferred how um how um evil I had them before. Well, basically um. Because you know, as most people play a character, and basically, like that character has to be on top of everyone. I he liked it on how I played it, and it made me happy. And how he uh, mentioned it as well, because the way I played it was like, so she was on top of everyone, but she was fine talking to everyone, making it steep herself down to their level to basically see, oh, you're gonna speak to me. Oh, fine, I speak to you. Very kind of sense where. No, oh, actually, I had somebody come up to me, uh, one of my artists, and they were like, Hey, have you ever thought about, with your series, um, if you have FNAF characters, instead of doing the canon characters, having, like, designed ones? Mm. Like, custom-designed ones that are, like, you know, obviously the characters, but, yeah. like... And I was given a circus baby. That was the their first, as they were like, I made a circus baby for your series. Um, oh? like a designed version and they were like you know if if you ever decide to go that route and i'm like yes i have thought about that genuinely especially with freddie and the crew because i would like to do merch but i yeah. don't want it to just be freddie and them because i feel like that would be hey you know i uh, I've had the same exact thing because I want to do merch, but you know, but I'm also like, I can't just have it. Right, right, we've got tons of sketch we can put in the merch, but it just can't be them. Yeah, so if it's like Freddy, but like he's designed specifically, like in a specific way for my series, yeah, um, then I'm totally fine with that. Um, so do you want to see my circus baby, by the way? I'll yes, yes, please, yes, please, because she is oh, she's a cutie. <gasps> Look at her. She's so cute. She's so cute. I'm like, oh my oh, god. I got so happy. I think you always saw a glimpse of it. And no, actually, I think Ari didn't get to see of it. Um, so I was just um vibing around, and then you know, fifty. You, you basically met. Um, they. Um, I brought up that I want to go with a uh, old skin of mine. Yeah. And um, they got it done. I'm not sure I've shown it often when we were sitting in Arias once, but I sent you in DMs. Ooh, I'm yeah. so glad with it as well because like it's so much better than what um, the one I had the um, two years before. And my heart just melted with it. Yeah. I'm trying to find it again. Oh, let me oh, find the screenshot. Why it. am I getting an at? Oh, hey, Poppy Playtime. Not out yet, but there's the notification. It comes out tomorrow. Am I dating myself? Absolutely. What are you going to do about it? 
literally nothing. I get the feeling I'm... I'm, uh, I'm excited to play it with microwave. Ooh, that's adorable. Oh. I know, right? That's so cute. Look at you over there. Just being a little cutie there. <laughs> Eh, no, the walls. Wee. The one thing I like about this one more as well, because it's got the red nose as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, shit. Ooh, painting. 40% less paint usage. Probably the best. Uh, let's see. Tasks. The big bed. Um. I'm gonna go with the American Elm again. Uh, but I think this time I'm gonna go for... Ooh, I like the colorful roses, actually. I got so happy with myself that I noticed it happened again. I started cleaning out the recording for that they have noticed I've already started building back up immediately and I started making myself cry over it. Aww. Because last time I counted it was like up to 60 vi 67 videos at the moment, 64. It slowly went down by a couple. Ah. <laughs> Damn it! It's all good. Let's go. Got the job done. Look at this. Look how nice this looks. I did good. Oh my goodness. I did so good on these. All right, well, let's go do another job. Um, substrates for liquors instead of flowers. Hi there. Wait a minute. Mommy left for a few months. When she returns, I will tell her that the flowers unfortunately rotted because I watered them too often. In the meantime, you have to cut them out and plant my favorite plants. Quinces, wine grapes, etc. You can leave the flowers that are in the front of the house so that she won't notice anything when she returns. All of her flowers from the backyard have to disappear. That's my spot. Hope you can do that. Can't you? See ya. Oh. Is that a oh. child? <laughs> I, I, I got the feeling it is. Oh. Is that a message from a child? What? And you just know how to respond. And .exe has that working. Because I, I can't tell if I'm being employed by a child or not. <laughs> well, a child must be paying decently for you to do a job. <laughs> because it, it really seems like it was a child that just messaged me. If it was a child that messaged me, I got some questions. Let's see, look, I got a lawnmower.
And you know what this lawnmower can do, Tails? What? Right through trees. Let's go. <laughs> trees never met him. That's one fancy ass llama. <laughs> so fancy it breaks reality. Let's go. Oh god, there's all the dying flowers. Oh no. We got so many. Place plants, all right? Bye. We got one, two, three, four, five. Look at me. Second going. Gonna cover up these plants. Let's see. Medium player, two plum. And carry. Put, we'll put cherry like up. up. Actually, I should probably. No. Oh, it's so heavy. Ah. Uh.
How does the grass grow back? Strange. What? When I when I finish digging the hole, the grass goes back. That's how it work. It's not, but it's how it did work. Here, who joined? It's a, it's a, it's a Ness. Hey, Ness. Let me actually put this in the name of 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 the name the name of the name I'm forgetful. Very silly, Hale. I must forget before I forget my own name sometimes. Watch the grass grows back. Watch. See, there's the grass. So strange. Thank <laughs> you. Ah. To bless you. Thank you. Need to. Up the mute chat. There we go, 100%. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, yeah.
All right, all right, let's see. Oh, is there another gardening one? Um. Inhabitable bunker. Topic, inhabitable bunker. Last week, my dear, sweet wife, decided that her mom will live with us. So I determined that the best place for our lovely mother would be a cold metal construction deep underground. <laughs> to cut a long story short, I want to place her in the bunker. It's all for the sake of safety, of course. For mom to move in, minimal faculties are needed there. A bed, bathroom, and kitchen. And when I write minimal, I really mean minimal. Don't ever do it with comfort because, as I think, mom won't honor us with her presence for long. It would be nice if you added some apoc apocalypse survival items in there. Because it would make it easier to convince my wife that it's all for safety reasons. Signed, the one who is writing for his lovely mom to move in. Son-in-law. Ah, I see. So, he thinks she's gonna be dead soon. Mm hmm. I don't want to deal with her bullshit. <laughs> oh, the mute chat? Why would you need that? Yeah, why would I, Ness? Why would I need the mute chat, really? Oh, wait, shit. I got something that I need to do real quick. You know that moment when you're like looking for something and then suddenly you can't find it? Mm hmm. Have that all the time. Very annoying. I was reminded of a birthday. Damn, Pan, you forget my birthday? I did not. Not yet. I would have. Probably. But I had not yet. Uh, getting added in several servers immediately I'm like whoa did shit happen no oh god can't see my recording stuff no there we go. All right, to the bunker. Ah, uh, this is not the way to it. That was a slow garage. Duh. Not over here. Aha, there it is. Wow, it makes sure more of the worst trees mother is like go in the garden. Get out. No. Clean up everything. Now we're about to move in the territory I don't like. Not even those. Although, ooh, God, I don't like the noises. I've just noticed the noises. Damn. Weird.
How do they expect an elderly lady to get up and down the ladder? Like, seriously? But the wife is gonna make him live down there. Ooh. You're right. Honestly, though, I think she absolutely will. And with his kind of atti attitude, she probably has every right to. To be honest. Seems kind of like a dick. Oh, the chair counted. I was like, what? Here's the other end. Just this space. They don't have special toilets. Damn. Oh well. Well, they said they wanted the basics, so... What's the cheapest sink here? We got one that's $47. That's the cheapest one. 47. Yep. All right. Again, cheapest shower. Let's go. It looks like 420. Three hundred and sixty. Oh, I see. This is the shower and this is just the glass, so... Oh, here we go, the hundred. Hundred and thirty-two, hundred and twenty. So this is the cheapest one. <clears throat> oh, 71, anything cheaper? So 53, 53, 29. Both of these are, this one looks smaller.
Look at this. Bam. 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 Look how fast this is. There we go, there's the bathroom done. Alright, now for the the room that's gonna take me the longest because I wanna make it look nice. Move, darn it. I'm going to have to probably finish up the, the shelves in here and stuff in the next episode. Because I'm starting to get kind of eh on time. Oh dear. This is fine. Because I can always move stuff in the doorway for right now. What the fuck?
just this shelf. This shelf is just broken. It's just this one. That one's just broken. Okay, so I'll end it here and then I'll complete this in the next episode. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a possum day and TTFN.